Hi, we are here today with Cade Lamb. We most recently spoke with this dad, Sheriff Mark Lamb, here in Pima County, one of our top uh, law enforcement agents uh, in our state right now. And I was talking with Cade earlier. Cade, tell me, you are in Fort Bragg Station in New North Carolina right now. That's right. And so tell me just a little bit about the climate there with what's happening. Let's talk about, I want to hear about the shots, um, how they're handling it at Fort Bragg, and maybe some of your team, how they're taking it in, in response. Um, well, I'm fortunate that, uh, you know, we got a lot of great guys that I'm working with right now. Um, you know, a lot of people can speculate all they want about how the, how the vaccine should have been pushed, how COVID could have been handled and things like that. Since the outbreak of COVID, uh, you know, we've been gone for most of it. So my unit specifically, we, we deployed in around summertime, early summertime of 2020. And so for all the George Floyd riots, for all the COVID mandates, for everything like that, we were we were overseas. We were down at, we were over in Iraq um, coming out, coming home stateside. There was a little bit of a shock because everything was kind of shut down. People were wearing masks. The attitude that we have at a, you know, at, at the man level, at the lowest level, right. you know, a lot of us, we just uh, we just want to do what we, we just want to do what we want to do the way we want to do it. Fight for the country. We want to fight for the country. We want to shoot guns. We want to jump out of planes. We want to eat good meat. That's you know, great. And um, we want to we want to embody those American values as best as we can. While uh, while some of the higher echelons in the Department of Defense have right. been a little bit more proactive with pushing COVID vaccines, with pushing mask standards things like that a lot of the lower echelons that have a more direct influence on those at the lowest level okay they have a little bit better understanding of how that's going to affect the men sure um but for yourself i mean i just want to let everybody know um you ended up taking the vaccine i did because you didn't want to be one of the displaced uh soldiers that are not any longer able to fight for our country who have been sent out of the military because they would not take the vaccine um just just so we know um how how did you feel after that physically emotionally yeah so i'm a pretty you know my dad i think i like to think my dad raised me right a lot of people will say that but uh you know, I'm, I'm pretty re resolute. And when I make a decision, I make it, I, I stick to that decision. I was pretty hell bent on not getting the vaccine. Right. I didn't believe it was good. I didn't believe that it was necessary. You know, why get something that doesn't work as we've seen for something that isn't a threat, especially for right. our target demographic. So I wasn't going to get the vaccine and through, you know, pressures from those higher echelons, they ended up coming down to where it was either get the shot or face UCMJ action, which would have looked like getting demoted as far down right. as they could have, um, you know, a, uh, with, uh, taking away your pay right. and then ultimately separating you from the army. And what and that bottom would look line, like, excuse me, I don't mean to oh, interrupt. Sorry. Bottom line is you really just wanted to stay in the service, stay with your, your, right. your unit, fight for our country. Right. And so you, you made the informed decision to take the shot and you're you're still healthy you didn't have any issues with that correct I hope. okay that's great so i mean we're glad you're on our team still definitely yeah. um and you're here on vacation i think yeah i am i got two two weeks of leave to uh spend it with family for christmas and i'm really excited great i bet your dad and your family's really glad to have you back yeah it's been about i wasn't here home for last christmas i was overseas for that so well we are it's glad that you are with our team we're glad that you're fighting for our nation and we really appreciate you sitting with us today i hope you guys have a really merry christmas you as well and a happy new year and uh, we look forward to seeing you back in arizona again on leave awesome thank you thank you god bless you god bless